never started recording. Fuck. God damn it. Hey guys, I uh, was making something that nobody has ever made before, which was uh, three scary games video. Uh, and that was the first game, Erase Back Rooms. But I don't really want to play it again because I just, I just played it, but it didn't record. So that sucks. On to the second game. <laughs> you guys will never know how good that recording was. Ah, I'm actually upset. I really liked that. Oh, the game was cool, and I thought that I had some funny bits in there, and there were... Oh. Well, guys, uh, welcome to the second game of this three scary games recording. Uh, this is No Snake Hotel, a game uh, about a hotel that definitely doesn't have snakes in it. Welcome so, the oh, no the snake devil incarnate. Hotel. Oh, no snakes. Oh. No, snake no refund of snake, no snake is seen. Okay. Damn. Of oh, hell yeah. Yeah. It does, all the time. Damn, thank you. Dude, I hate it when when I wake up in the middle of the night at a hotel and there's a snake slithering down my throat. I just arrived at the hotel. Good golly, Bart, this place is immaculate. You know how much I hate snakes, so I went out of my way to stay at the No Snake Hotel. They've really done it, Bart. There are absolutely no snakes in this hotel. That is so great to hear. That is so great to hear because I didn't want to experience any snakes at this hotel. You know, I'm sure that there's not a single snake here. Find room 100. One, two, four, one, two, three. Okay. All right. Well, I wish they had the music playing through the whole. 119 seems ominous. But okay. Uh, 118. Ooh, step on it. Okay, if we find a snake, we'll step on it. I'm living the dream! I don't. I didn't think this was possible, but huh, I sure am happy it is. The No Snake Hotel really lives up to its name. Ever since I was a little girl and got abducted by an army of rabid snakes while on vacation. I haven't left my house. After 50 years in solitude, I finally have a safe place where I can vacation. Thanks, No Snake Hotel. <laughs> oh my god. The raving reviews here. The raving reviews. Any, uh... Any snakes down here? 112 seems fun. Ooh. Oh, everywhere except here. Everywhere, truly. I feel safer than ever here. One time, at some other- Some other hotel, I walked into my room, and when I turned around to shut the door, there was a snake as long as my arm, dangling from the coat hook. But here at the No Snake Hotel, I need, don't need to worry about what creepy, slithering creatures might be standing behind me. <sighs> snake? I- I thought I heard... A slither. 106. I feel like there might be a snake. Oh. Well, thank God there's no s snake. Oh no. It's a snake. It's a oh, what the? What the? What the? Oh, what the? Snake. Snake. Is there, to is there a way to defeat the snake? Welcome to the no snake Or is that the whole hotel. T t uh, game? Because I don't want to go down the dark hallway. They might have more snake. Hold on, I'm going to speed run no snake hotel. All right, let's get the speed run ready. Um, as soon as I exit the hotel door, start the speed run. And okay, three, two, one. Okay, let's go. Oh, yes, if I'm room 100, I will do it faster than you could ever believe. This speed run is going 
good oh yep doing the uh no notes uh hack just to get by yep going through the door as quickly as possible and running this way oh i can't that might be the end. Hold on. Let's try this again, because we may actually be able to beat this. I don't know how to... Out of order. Oh, no. Did I win? <laughs> I can't move. I can't... I can't move. <laughs> I mean, the snake's kind of there. Hello? Snake. Well, guys, there it is. I beat No Snake Hotel. <laughs> that was really cool, actually. Like, it was really good looking. All right, here we go. We're doing Demo 50 V6. Oh. Whoops. It's called They Are Here. This is an alien looking game. All the links will be down in the description below. Even the first one that you unfortunately didn't see. Which sucks, because... I'm actually like upset, but this looks really cool. It's an alien game. Unexplained phenomena occurred at Gray's Wood Farm. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction and at different speeds. After a while, they've vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Ew. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What was it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. Well, let's get that fire for the newspaper then. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty. News. Talk to Farmer Peter Sherman. Why couldn't we... My vision's bad. Why couldn't we just, uh... That's sick. That's so cool. This is a gross entryway. I, um, am afraid of corn. <laughs> Very afraid of corn. Oh. oh. Hello. Hello, Scarecrow. Oh, you scare me, Scarecrow. Did I tell them that they, I was coming? Farmers. No, Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful. Peter Sherman. Thanks, Peter. Seals, 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 seals. Okay. Oh. Looks nice. Members of the Sherman family. Okay. Ah, look at them. Hen. There's a fox in there now. That's... They are here. Mystery sh sky objects seen here in Orno. Uh, okay. Hmm. 
I'm excited and scared about this game. Look at it, doggy. Um, because I really like aliens a lot, and I think they're really cool, but they also terrify me. Um, one of my favorite movies, if you haven't seen it, one of my favorite alien movies, is a movie called Dark Skies, and it's really good. And also... He... Uh-oh. The Plunder Box. WWE Plunder Box. Oh! It looks like the drawing was made for the missing daughter of the farmer. The paper is painted on both sides. Oh, no. Sheesh. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard strange, a uh, strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Is there anything in the corn? I don't see anything in the corn. Walkie talkie. Apparently it belonged to the missing girl. Property of Megan. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. Yeah, I don't I actually like listening to that um, at all. Okay. Mr. Sherman? Can I have the cowboy hat? Oh, yuck. found my old diary. How f could I forget that? I saw the aliens. I don't remember. What was that? Uh, take a photo of the diary. Yeah, well, that didn't look great, but okay. Uh! Uh! They are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. A large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long, thin limbs. Their voices, voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near the home, which move in a certain way. Then, people start to have a nosebleed, have severe headaches, and a buzz in their ears. Animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapses. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places. For example, in the middle of a field or a road, a few kilometers away from home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. Aliens establish control over the minds, and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found marks on the body, incisions to be exact, during palpitation, and felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under the skin. I don't like what I'm hearing, gamers. I really do not like what I'm hearing. Oh my god. 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 I don't wanna exit this room. <laughs> Spooky, dude. Oh my god, my asshole's in my fucking chest right now. Oh good, this door is open. Oh.
There's so much shit in my ass. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Occurrence. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer, the answer is simple. Abduction. <laughs> I only remembered the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then when the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then behind the ear were a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me. Some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided uh, that I would get it. I'm not crazy. Oh, what is that? Oh! Maybe take it? There's five now. God, I hate this. God, I hate this. Oh my God, I hate this. <laughs> God, I'm running to the car. Oh, he's gonna get me. He's gonna get my asshole. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, you're dead, dude. You're fucking dead. Oh, you're fucking dead. There's no way that van can go 180 miles an hour. full game you will find the large territory of Craceswood Farm and a full story of an alien abduction. Add the game to your wish list so you don't miss a discount. Damn, dude. That was really, really good. That was really cool. I really liked that game a lot, actually. Oh, that was excellent. That was really well done. Really, really well done. All right, on to the last game. This is called Last Bus Home. Assuming we're, uh... Trying to take the uh, last bus home. Got four minutes left. Hey, flies. Can I do anything? Do I just have to sit here for four minutes? You know, if this is the whole thing, um, it is creepy. <laughs> I just wanted to turn to two. <gasps> hey. Hi. Just a person waiting for the bus. Hi, how's it going? How's it going this evening? Uh, lovely night we're having. Right? Right? I like your jacket. It's nice. You like any sports or anything? Cool. What? <laughs> Subtly. What do you like? Um, you have a nice beard. Hello there. Hey. What brings you here so late? Am I saying this or are you saying this to me, sir? 
just... You don't want to talk, do you? Any moment now. How about this? This... There's this bottle of beer I have. Maybe that can change your mind. Kids seem to love it nowadays. Okay, all right, so you're offering me beer? Am I underage in this scenario? You trying to offer a minor beer? Alcohol? <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. You went missing. Your body was never found. One out of three endings. Whoa. That's kind of cool. Damn. Okay. All right. Well, let's wait for this guy to come back out in the woods. Or maybe can we go into the creepy forest? No, we cannot. Maybe if I stand far enough over here, he won't see me. Hey. Maybe I'll just stand over here. For the bus, it, I'll give it to it. Like, there's not a lot to it, but there's not a lot that needs to happen for something to be really unsettling and creepy. Like, this is really cool. I am definitely unsettled. I do not like it. Hey, kid. Hey. Why are you out here at night? I am waiting for the bus. I was doing uh, marijuana in the field. You're not a talker, are you? Nope. I am not. Not to strangers. You know, stranger danger. How about this? I'm good. It's about all the beer I have. Yeah, you kids love this nowadays. Yeah, listen. Maybe that'll make you talk. No, listen, I just did about 10 pounds of weed in the field. Come on, then take a sip. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good to go. Uh, listen, I gotta wait for this bus. You know, the bus is, uh, you know, gonna take me to the alcohol store. You know, I, I so I'll get, I'll get my own. I don't want to steal from you. I don't want to be... I don't want to be a thief or anything like that, so I'll just, you know, I'll just wait. I'll just wait it out, you know, because I uh, actually have a uh, hops intolerance, so I actually can't drink beer. Um, it makes my tummy hurt, so I'm going to pass, you know, if it was a cider or, you know, you will regret this one. Well, you know, I don't really want to have a tummy ache, you know? You know, I don't really want to have a tummy ache. Um, so I'm going to get on the bus here. And uh, make it home safely. So now I guess we do it again, but do we don't get on the bus? Or maybe we take it in front of the bus? And they catch it, the criminal? Let's find out. Okay. The bus is here. What if I don't get on the bus? What happens if I don't get on the bus? Do I let it roll? Oh no. Why didn't you get on the bus, sir? Is there another bus? That's the last bus.
And maybe I'd just walk away. You died, your corpse was discovered the next day. Shit. Well, that's all the endings, baby. Well, well, I played some scary games. I'm still bummed that that first one didn't get recorded. My bad, I just forgot to press record. But I that second game, the alien one, was thoroughly well done. Um, I, I'm very excited to see what they do with the full game uh, because that was spooky. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to slap that like button right in the face and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Stay cranky. Bye. What is that, the cranky crew?